the new replenishment planning features of Oracle Demand Management Cloud ensure inventory availability for stores, depots, stock rooms, and other downstream locations. They maximize service levels while minimizing inventory investment across a wide range of business conditions. An effective replenishment plan starts with an accurate demand forecast. Since replenishment planning is part of Oracle Demand Management Cloud, you have all the capabilities of a world-class demand planning solution at your service. You can easily manage new item launches, low-volume products, seasonality, and one-time events. Here we can see the comparison of shipments forecast with shipments history across various segments. Demand patterns and inventory objectives can vary widely among replenishment locations. Using Oracle's replenishment planning, you can divide your business into dynamic, rule-based segments with independent policies. For example, you can define segments based upon cost, volume, volatility, and many other attributes. In this case, we'll set up segments for low, medium, and high cost items. When you run a plan, you can see the effectiveness of your replenishment planning segments at a glance. You can compare stockouts, fill rates, and costs to decide which ones need to be adjusted. It is essential to quickly identify or pinpoint the specific items and locations that are performing poorly. When we look at fill rates, for example, we can see that one low-cost, low-volume item in the DC1 distribution center has a big shortfall. We can click on it and drill to a workbench to address the issue. The replenishment planning workbench gives you a time phase view of demand, supply, and planned replenishments, along with min-max inventory and safety stock thresholds. In this case, the maximum inventory threshold is too low to deal with an upcoming demand spike in DC1, triggering a potential stockout. You can override policy parameters, adjust the demand forecast, and edit replenishment quantities to address one-time issues like this. You get immediate feedback on your changes. In this case, revising the min-max thresholds solved the stockout problem. When you're satisfied with the results, you can review and release the planned replenishment orders to put your decisions into action. By simulating replenishment planning over a long horizon, you can project your inventory investment, evaluate service level goals, and compare the impact of different policy parameters. Here we can see that by resolving the stockout violations in high cost, high volume segment, we have increased the projected fill rate and also the total inventory investment. Once you've put the right policies into place, you may be able to replenish many products and locations in lights out fashion. Automated replenishment calculates requirements and releases planned orders whenever inventory positions are updated. Exception summaries highlight any issues. Here we see that 15 item locations have shortages, which we can drill down and address by segment if needed. You can compare the effectiveness of your existing in-force replenishment policies to your current business conditions. Here the newly calculated policies are automatically accepted if they are within the thresholds. If the policy values are outside the defined thresholds, you can perform a policy review to accept, retain, or manually override the new policy values. Replenishment planning is pre-integrated with Oracle Inventory Management Cloud and Oracle Procurement Cloud, so you can get up and running quickly. Simple integration interfaces are available to connect with on-premise systems as well. With this dynamic segmentation, policy-based management, visual analytics, and interactive problem solving, Oracle's replenishment planning in the cloud enhances availability while reducing inventory and administration costs. Take advantage of this new Oracle Demand Management Cloud capability to extend your inventory planning to all of your downstream locations.